One of the single most important patterns we will learn in piano is the tetrachord plus a whole step. As we progress through our lessons, we will unlock the power of this pattern as we learn how it is formed and its many uses. But just so we can get started with playing a handful of chords and songs, we will just memorize a few. My adult students may breeze through this exercise quite quickly. My younger players, on the other hand, may struggle some because their independent finger dexterity isn't fully developed yet. But that's okay, because we're going to use this exercise to gain our independent finger dexterity. So, be patient as you practice, and trust me, it will get easier. Let's learn our C tetrachord plus a whole step. To form the C tetrachord plus a whole step, we will place our thumb on the C note. And if we place one finger on each note thereafter, that is the C tetrachord plus a whole step. I like to memorize things with pictures in my mind. It helps me to memorize the patterns faster. So I call this the straight line pattern because it just kind of goes in a straight line. It just looks like a straight line. So when I play it one note at a time, it looks like this. And here is the cool thing. If we play notes one, three, and five, that creates a C chord in the root position. So here's the exercise again. I'm going to do it with counts. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now, why do I call it root position? Well, it's kind of like a tree. It has roots where the rest of the tree grows up from. In this case, it's a C tree because the C is on the bottom. It's the root of the chord and the rest of the chord grows up from there. So it's a C chord in the root position. Now I'll show you how to play it with the left hand. We'll place the pinky on the C note and then one finger on each note thereafter. And then here's what the exercise looks like. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So notes one, three, and five create the C chord in the root position. Rewind this video as many times as you need in order to learn this pattern. It's the straight line pattern. Now, I wanna show you the G tetrachord plus a whole step. So why are we learning the C and G at the same time? Well, it's because they're both the exact same pattern, the straight line pattern, just starting on a different note. So, I'll show you with my right hand first. We'll place the thumb on the G, one finger on each note thereafter, and here it goes. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And there is the G chord in the root position. And now I'll show you with my left hand. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now that you know how to create the C and G tetrachords plus a whole step, we need to practice them and get them smooth. We're not going to practice with a metronome. We're going to practice with the actual band, because remember, that's real life. When we play with our worship team, when we play with other musicians, we're playing with the real instruments, with real people making real music in real time. So there are four practice files for each tetrachord plus a whole song. There's one that is slow with the piano, and then there's one that is slow without the piano, so you can practice the timing. Then there's a faster one that's with the piano and a faster one without the piano. Watch now as I show you how to practice with the audio tracks. 
I will demonstrate with hands together, but you will want to make sure you can play it hands separately first before you play it hands together. Here's the C tetrachord plus a whole step song, the slow version. One, two, three, here we go. After that, you will want to practice with the fast version. Make sure you can play it really well with the slow version first. Now I will demonstrate the G Tetrix song. This time I will use the fast version. One, two, three, here we go. And there you have it, the C and G tetrachord plus a whole step exercise. Remember, it's the straight line pattern.